I really liked. I, 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 I yeah, I can't really remember. I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, that was the episode that everybody hated, wasn't it? That was that was the yeah. one that people went, oh my god, Doctor Who's lost its way. And yeah. I went, what are you talking about? This is classic Doctor Who. This is like, to me, that's that's proper Doctor Who, that is. I liked, uh, oh, be you know, I, <laughs> I liked the spiders. Yeah. They were quite gruesome, mm. like when they ate people mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, people died this year as well, it was great. Yeah, that was nice. Properly died. We're morbid, aren't we? Yeah. We died, good job. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they were, they weren't they weren't spiders, were they? They were germs or something. Yeah. Yeah. And they were healing a wound or yeah, something, something on the planet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there was the moon was an egg, mm. which I bought completely. You bought it. I was you? fine with that. Yeah. I. I, 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 I my <laughs> my concern was it wasn't so much that the moon was an egg. My concern was how did this thing mm. that came out of an egg then lay an egg that was arguably larger than it was? I've it's, been saying arguably a oh lot yeah, today. It's Doctor Who. It was, does it have like a, tra a dimensionally transcendental womb? Yes. Okay. It's Doctor Who. Yes, right. it does. That's where the Time Lord's got their... That's why it was like the last of its species. Ah. It's because like Rassilon and Omega it's got loads got of all these. of them yeah, and yeah. said we're going to work out how to do this. All TARDISes are made from those dragons. Yeah. Mm. Pleasant. Uh, yeah, so I don't really have much to say apart from that, other than I, I liked it, nobody well, else really did. Let, let's talk about the big moral dilemma of that story, which was... Pro, do pro we, choice and that. Yeah, do yeah. we abort and, you know, yeah. basically ensure that everyone is safe, Yeah. or do we let it live just so it can be like the last of its kind mm. to survive, Yeah. but... Instead, it will slaughter every last human being on Earth. But that's a possibility. They don't know that. That's, that's, sure. that's, that's that, a possibility. That was, that was, that was yeah. the, the, the stick in the, in the mud, wasn't it? I, I, um, I, 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 we don't, I don't want to get too deep into politics and that. I'm personally, I'm, I'm pro-choice. Yeah. And I think that, uh, who was it that was in the right in that situation? Who said that they should, they should let it just hatch? Was it Clara? Clara said, Clara said they should let it hatch. Uh, I I think as much as obviously the morals were to side with Clara because she's Clara and yeah. you know the audience is supposed to affiliate with her, I would have detonated it. So would I. Um, and I, I thought, what are you on? Yeah, I would have absolutely detonated it. The needs it. of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Mm. And uh, but then the Doctor must have known that it would be okay all along. Yeah, he must have done. He must have done. So he was basically just taking them for a ride the whole story. Yeah. Which is the only sticking point I have with the story that I didn't really like that. I like the fact he ran away. Or didn't yeah. run away. I like the fact he left them in the lurch. I, I like, like the fact that he got the yo-yo out and did a gravity yeah, test yeah, like yeah, Tom yeah. Baker. Yeah, Brilliant. that was very cool. Yeah, it did feel like... they were. It felt like they were almost saying, never abort a child. Yeah, because like, it might kill everyone. Or, yeah, yeah, because it might be a wonderful thing. And yeah. it was like... Yeah, oh, you're treading on thin ice here, Doctor mm, Who. Yeah, that's the that's probably the heaviest topic Doctor Who's yeah. ever covered. Do you know and what I mean? I, yeah, and I think the way that they they handled it, mm. I don't know if it was quite the right way no, to do it. I've lost the episode guide on my phone. Next was. What damn you to hell? I absolutely uh, hated this story. I detested really? it. I really hated it. Why? Um, because it was so illogical and stupid. But the, but what the, uh, the moon was an egg. Yeah, I know. But yeah, but that's what we, remember we were talking <laughs> oh, about we earlier. Did, didn't we? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We were talking about uh, what was it? Logic to do with um, the, uh, wooden Cybermen. Wooden in Cybermen. Time, time, time and, of the Doctor. And time travel. Fa uh, yeah. Like I, I'm cool with time travel, but there's a logic in in you know there's no logic in in having a wooden Cyberman with a flamethrower on its arm. Yeah. There, it it was just so. Run aroundy. I, I I don't mind run around stories. I can't quite remember why I hated it so much and why I gave it a three out of ten. But wow, I really, it's I really, oh. really, really detested it. I did I did a, I did a video review which you can check you did, out on my yeah. channel um, about why <laughs> about why I hate this story because I can't quite remember it now. But what I remember was it was uh, you know the, the the train carriages. Why did it have to be a train? Um, th there was this whole thing. Oh, okay, well, hang on. So. Is Perkins really the murderer? Did, did, is he behind all of the... Well, why are, you, why are you possibly hinting that it is, even though he is? Yeah, he was shit-stirring a bit, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was shit-stirring a lot. And the way they shot him and the kind of the music kind of swelled a little bit when oh, he right. appeared. And <laughs> the thought, way they shot him. The way they, they <laughs> shot him in the gut. The way, the way they were filming him and the way the kind of yeah. music would go... Like, oh, is he the... Uh, the the uh, casket. 
who owned the casket? Why did the old woman have to own the casket? That was entirely pointless. Yeah, if they were getting all the scientists together on a, a thing, why didn't they just kidnap all the scientists and, and put them together in, there, in a yeah. lab? Yeah. Why did they have to have... Pe- were those people holograms? Were they real people? Well, no, they weren't all holograms, were they? Because that woman had a heart attack. So why were... Uh, and the was, scientists. Uh, uh, yeah, and the people. scientists. Um, mm-hmm. So why did they have to have some people as real people and some people as holograms? Um, and uh, why <clears throat> did the train carriages suddenly have to turn into being uh, a laboratory? Um, also stuff to do with why did the door suddenly open when Clara and that girl were in that room? Because the doctor couldn't open it with a sonic screwdriver. And then all of a sudden they're sat in there and she does something. Or the door's just suddenly open. They go, oh, we can leave now. Yeah. Um, and I hated it. So yeah, watch my video review of that. Um, I detested it. Plug. Um, <laughs> what did you think of it, Matt? I liked it. Ah, uh, never mind. The next story. <laughs> wait, wait, um, wait, wait, hang on. I like the the mummy was great. The mummy looked great. Yeah. The mummy looked amazing. Actually. Mm, the mummy was fantastic. It was really good. Did you see the other designs for it as well? Yeah. With more kind of a Martian yeah. alien look. That was that was very cool. Yeah. But yeah. I I I enjoy it. I thought it was a I thought it was a nice little story. Yeah. And he had jelly movies in a yeah, cigarette case. Yeah, jelly That was that was his own idea. Yeah, his own idea. That was very nice. And he was dressed like John Pertwee or William Hartnell with mm, his little cravat on. Nice. His, yeah. yeah, I could. A lot of people said they could see him wearing that for the whole series because mm. it was very similar to his deep breath costume when yeah. he was in Limbo. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, that like in deep that. breath, that Victorian costume. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, suited him. I think it was almost like kind of an evolution of what he would eventually start wearing. Yeah. Because you know the whole tramp thing is like okay, well he's wearing tramp's clothes, and then you see the slightly more sophisticated Edwardian version yeah. of what he wears now. Yeah. Which I thought was was quite clever. It showed quite a nice mm. dynamic. I'm trying to. I took pictures of myself with the Dalek. That's incredibly embarrassing. I'm trying to with this Dalek. Yeah, with this Dalek. Yeah. Oh, when? <laughs> when you're upstairs having a piss. <laughs> um, okay, so then we had uh, there's a mummy on the Orient Express. Then Flatline, which was weirdly written by the same man, and you wouldn't have guessed it because no. Flatline was brilliant. I love Flatline. And it was set in our hometown. It was set of in Bristol. Uh, shot entirely in Cardiff, which was really yeah. annoying. Um, I don't know why they couldn't have just hopped over the Seven Bridge and just come to Bristol well, and film. Too much money, the fees to get across. I know, across. I know, it is, yeah, it's mental. Anyway, uh, I love Flatline. I really uh, love Flatline. Probably it as well. my, uh, uh, with the exception of Listen, my favourite story of the season. Yeah, it was definitely my favourite story. Yeah. I keep you yawning, sorry. Yeah. Definitely my favourite story. Yeah, definitely, yeah he, loved, <laughs> he loved it even though he was yawning. Uh, yeah, I know, I, I really love Flatline. I thought it was. The, it was the, so clever. So clever. And the, the design for the monsters, for the boneless. Which is a rubbish name for a monster, but it's a great monster. Yeah. Was just outstanding. Um, they really surpassed themselves with that story in terms yeah. of the technical design of them. Oh, it was just fantastic. Capaldi was very good. Capaldi was brilliant. Did you see uh, the the action figure? The you know the big the big, big Capaldi. Chief. Yeah, big the, Chief Studios. His head. You can get his head. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Spots. And yeah, that. and the hands. The hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I thought I, was, yeah, I, I really can't say anything more my, than it was. My only criticism was the end, <clears throat> which was the doctor comes along, I name you the boneless, and I'm gonna weave a sonic screwdriver at you, yeah. and you're just gonna disappear. Yeah, the, <laughs> sonic, <laughs> the sonic screwdriver was one of my biggest gripes with the past couple of years, has been however used yeah. it's been. Um, they, uh, they've been better this year. Yeah, but they oh, still, they still. Well, in deep breath, he um, blasts the reins out of the cabbie's oh, yeah. hand, and then in um, the Christmas special, he removes the dream crabs with the Sonic. And if oh, I, yeah. I, I oh, not just you're Scottish, just rip it off her face. <laughs> um, face and all. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, that it was, it was used sparingly, but that was, that was the most kind of uh, serious seven B use of it. Yeah. In the, in the whole city, like repelling psychic attacks in. Rings of Akaten, which I like, but yeah. Jesus Christ. And, and in Dare the Doctor, yeah. when they do it against a Dalek. Yeah, yeah, Whoa, yeah. what? Yeah, and I like, I like the fact also, um, John Hurt's like, don't point them, they're not water pistols, and yet he's he in the scene it, yeah. doing that as well. You yeah, bloody hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder why they don't like you, Dirk Randad. Okay, and then in the Forest of the Night, uh, what did you think of it? Uh... <laughs> I, I, okay, I liked it. Yeah, I know you liked it. I liked it to an extent... And then it just sort of became. I sort of when it started off, I didn't mind it. Although there was the initial thing of why are kids sleeping in a museum on a school trip? Who does that? They do that. Do they? You, you can you can sleep over. They they do sleepovers in the national the science museum and also uh, Bristol. Do they really? Yeah, you can sleep over in the in the uh, gallery of the night. It's very cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. They obviously do do it. You do it in churches as well. You can go into cathedrals yeah. and you can like sleep in the crypt and stuff. I've never been. I wouldn't. It's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, although it, they always use the, that Cardiff Museum for like every Everything. every set ever. Yeah. I didn't like. 
why why did the why did the plants why were the plants talking why did the plants decide on this child yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's like something out of one throw of the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. And he was like, what's, the, what's all this? What's all this? What are yeah, you doing? What's yeah, all this? And I was yeah. like, what? The guy who wrote didn't even know what that no, was. No. He's yeah. like, doctor, you can't say that to yeah. one of these people. Yeah. They've got problems. The guy with <laughs> serious mental issues. <laughs> what's um, all this? <laughs> Imagine him in one when he threw the cuckoo's nest. Oh, God. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Get away from the window. <laughs> um, yeah. That, yeah. So... There was somebody who was seriously ill in that story. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So why did it choose her? And when the, when the yeah. trees were talking through, I couldn't understand any what either of them were saying. No. And I was like, this is just garbled nonsense. Yeah. It was all a bit. Uh. It just it went from being like, oh yeah, the plants have mm. overgrown. You know, it could have been a good crinoid story. Yeah. Oh and yes. Then, and then all of a sudden it was like, no, magical mm. fairy dust. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and then the, the ending with the, her sister appearing. Yeah, oh, I'm behind a bush. I've been behind a bush the whole time, but I'm not, when you've gone on the school run, I've not called out to you. I've, no. just, been, I've just been sat, sat when, here. When you leave the house, I go back in, nick yeah, the yeah. food, use, yeah. the, use the lab and go back is. out. That's, oh, that's why someone's been breaking in and the windows are all broken. Yeah. Um, I, I liked it, but for the fact it was probably the most middle class episode of Doctor Who ever produced in the history of the programme. <coughs> Even by the names and the, the, the yummy mummy on the school run. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, what the hell was that? Yeah, and she was just cycling through the forest because yeah, you know, no, as whatever. you do. Yeah, and the, the, they seem to be the only people that actually ventured outside. Yeah, they didn't meet anybody else in the middle of London. Yeah, they're they're walking around Trafalgar Square and there's no one there. Yeah, everyone would have been out taking photos. Yeah, like, of course they would. Look at me, I'm by Nelson's column and he's covered in stuff. vines. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, vining the vines at Nelson's column. It, and it, oh, this was another thing. Oh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, no, no, I'm what, done. I'm done. What, there was there were lions and tigers about. Yeah. The trees disappeared. Yeah. Hey, yeah. lions are taking from nowhere. <laughs> I think I think the explanation Wolf. was that uh, what, the, the plants had um, eaten them. <laughs> the plants had eaten everything. The plants, like when you know, like in lion enclosures, you have like trees and stuff. <laughs> They'd like overgrown and smashed the thing. That's that's. I don't know why I've got that from, but I think. When the plants grew, yeah, they broke. They, they broke, broke. They broke yeah, them they broke free them out. out of the yeah, zoo, yeah, yeah. and then they started wandering around London. Yeah, no, I get that bit. Yeah. But when the trees disappeared, yeah, they were like, well, well, the lions and the wolves were still out and um, out and about, weren't they? They didn't vanish. Yeah, seven children died that day. Uh, did they? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so that's the moral of that story. Don't don't let and, tigers and, out. And, and like Cat said, you know, if it was if the zoos were all smashed up, like mm. all the things like tarantulas and things, oh the, eco, uh, the, the ecosystem uh, in, in London would have just been that's screwed. Not good. That's not good. That's a, that's a, that was the sequel story. Yeah, uh, in the day of the oh shit tarantulas. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was. And that's where we got the metabolus spiders. <laughs> when Clara was like, oh no no no, we won't come with you, Doctor. Mm. We'll, we'll just stay here. We'll stay and, and die. die with Earth. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. No, You've got all these wouldn't. kids. Yeah, the kids, yeah. Get them in, get, get them in. in. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go. Yeah, yeah. The, the doctor was so in the right saying, because come on, you can bring everybody yeah. in, you can fit everybody in the TARDIS. The and, then, machine. and Clara was like, no, these children are going to die with us. <laughs> oh, no. are selfish. I'm sure the kids would have been like, what are we doing here, Miss Clara? Oh, we're just like, we're going to die here. We're what? <laughs> we're gonna, we're, you're gonna die with us. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a pact. We're gonna burn the death in this field. <laughs> uh, no, can I not just go back to the angry Scottish bloke? No, no. You're, gonna, you're gonna sit here and die with Mr. Pink. It's not, it's not like you could just like live there forever. Yeah, and quite happily. Yeah, quite happily. Know, lots of nice rooms. And... Roasted alive. Oh. Yeah, let's 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 talk about this now. Clara's um, perpetual lying. Yeah. Pissed me off. Ooh. So much. She never learned her lesson. Throughout the whole of the series, and I thought that was the big, I mean, besides The Promised Land, which we'll talk about yeah. in a minute, that was the big kind of, it was, it was, am I a good man, The Promised Land, and Clara lying to I'm people. I'm a lying bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she didn't learn a damn lesson throughout the whole of the series, even when her, her, the love of her life was tragically run over by a uh, guy in a Volvo. She was just still, <laughs> she was still, she was still like, I'm still going to lie, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to lie about yeah, this. Yeah, why? Yeah. Why did she just... I don't know why. Oh, as much as I like Clara, and I yeah, love Clara. I love Clara. She's, so. she's, she's brilliant. brilliant. Oh, I know you do. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, Tash, but I, I yeah. Go on. Uh, yeah. Go on, go on. As much as I love Clara, yeah, she did cock herself up a bit. She was she? very silly. Very silly. Um, and, like, oh, shit. The, I can understand, I can understand the 12th Doctor 
lying to her, saying, "Oh, I found Gallifrey." You know, he even yeah, explains yeah. those so you can stay with Danny. Mm. But that's like that's his home planet. Like that's, yeah. that that means a hell of a lot to him. And I, I know Danny was your world or whatever. But that still doesn't justify you should still be lying to the doctor after all this mm. time. And she's she does a disservice to the man that she she loved because she's still lying about him even though he's dead. Yeah. And I that I really frustrated me. And it didn't even really get cleared up in Last Christmas. No. Because I thought that was going to be kind of the centerpiece of the whole story. Mm. Is they were going to resolve that. They were yeah. going to resolve. You know. Okay, we both lied to each other. We're very sorry. But. Uh, I mean, I might mention this again when we review last Christmas in a minute, but I, they still didn't learn their lesson from it. So Dark Water, even, yeah. was very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, can, what can be said? It was a lot of clever ideas. Yeah. Uh, the whole... Uh, what happened in the story? Oh, yeah, so Danny Pink died. Yeah, that was a very good opening. That was cool. Um, Woman who directed this directed... One of the Friday the Thirteenth movies. Did she really? One of like like the shit ones. Part six or part seven oh, right. or something. And she directed Tank Girl as well. Yes, that was very good. Terrible. Oh, it's meant to be terrible, Tank Girl. Oh, I, do I, I I I don't mind it that much. I've not I've not seen it. It's, I just it, know it's, it's meant to be. It's it's all right. It's not as bad as everybody makes out to be. Okay. It's like one of those movies. It's got Malcolm where... McDowell in it, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we had uh, dealing with the afterlife. Mm -hmm. um, was the afterlife? Were, were people actually when people die? Do they remain conscious in their graves? That was it, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. that was a really nice. I love it. I loved that. Um, it was really creepy, uh, and it was again one of those moments. It was actually a lot of moments this year when Captain turned around to me and said, "This is going to terrify your children." Mm. I was like, "Yeah, good." And it terrified. Um, Adults as well, because yeah. there was such a backlash to Doctor Who after they did that. Yeah. People really, really didn't like the idea that people are still cognitively alive when they're burning yeah. to death. And I thought that is just the best idea mm. that Doctor Who's had yeah. in a very long time. And sadly, it didn't quite pay off. Not in the way that the, it could have done. It, it could have done yeah. what I expected it to. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it was very good. Uh, I liked that. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, what else happened in that story? Clara, oh yeah, Clara was a bit, got a bit moody with him, didn't she? Mm -hmm. he tried to steal the Tardis keys. Yeah. Little cubby hole above the pee, though. Yeah, yeah, fact, oh yes, Steve, of course. Stephen Moffat actually mentioned that. Did in he? Doctor Who magazine. Oh. I think he even put yeah, but she forgot the one above the pee. Great. Because I think someone said, "Oh, what what would have happened?" Yeah. And he said, "Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> He's always got an answer. Yeah. Even if it's convoluted and doesn't make mm. any sense. No, yeah, but it did make sense. It, it did make sense. Yeah. It referred to him shit story yes um, anyway yeah so it was good uh, one thing I well I don't know if this is probably more of a, is this more of something to talk about for the next part or not? well I guess we talked about it all together mm. all this stuff about the promised land so we had the robot I want to find the promised land uh, we had the robots in Sherwood trying to find the promised land we have to find the promised land but the promised land wasn't like actually a place it the was the promised land was the nether sphere. Yeah, but like how it wasn't like you know it was just an orb floating in Saint Paul's Cathedral, mm. and they were so, all militarized as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was like, well, or is it? Time, it's time or technology. It's the matrix. So it's big it? on the inside. Yeah. Is it the matrix? It's, 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 like, it's, it's, it's like it's like it's like the a version of the matrix. Okay, right. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> you know where, well, where well, were they going? Uh, were they we, just thinking? Were they just thinking? Oh. We want to go to heaven yeah. generally. Yeah. I think the idea was they're going to heaven generally, but it just so happened that the promised land was being mentioned a lot. Yeah. And that was the phrase they used for the yeah. terminology. Because heaven isn't really the promised land. You don't when you, when people say, mm. Oh, I'm gonna die, I hope I get to the promised land, mm. you never really hear that, do you? Yeah, well, you yeah, it's really hear I wanna go to it's heaven a, or the afterlife. It's more of an old turn of phrase, the promised land, isn't yeah. it? Because the promised land sort of denotes that you you get everything you want. Yeah. Uh, which, I don't know if that's really the point of heaven. I don't know. Um, this series got very deep. Yeah, we're getting on some sort of very theological ground yeah. here. How were these people ending up? Well, how do you how do you end up in the Matrix? You can you can visit it physically. Yeah. And you can also visit it through your mind. Yeah. So they were vis visiting it physically. In the same way that when Conan Baker walks into the Matrix... No, no, they weren't. Because Danny Pink, all well, their bodies were still on Earth, weren't they? It was, just, it, was it was just their minds. Their well, minds they, were being well, uploaded. Well, they, well, well it's, this, it's the way that um, Tom Baker got into the Matrix in uh, Deadly Assassin. Then. 
Yeah, but all that was done because they actually had a, like an interface. Yeah. But how in, in the coffin, I imagine, because but, the whole point. But, is that, all, but uh, they're all dying in different time zones. Um. Well, Missy, the master. <laughs> we'll get onto that in a minute, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, had a TARDIS, obviously. Yeah. So she was able to. She went around. Integrate the technology in everywhere through, through, through different time zones. Okay, this is a bit of it. And, and why the robots? The robot's not even alive. Uh, How did he end up there? Clearly, technically, he doesn't even have a, a, an organic yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, that, that. Well, part of him is organic, but. but that's just the bits that he's nicked from people. Uh, See, so his brain isn't. His brain isn't. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if his brain would be partly. Well, <clears throat> hang on, wait. Well, you saw him. You met him the other day. Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you yeah. see a brain in his head? I did. I saw lots of cogs. Well, the, there we go. The, um, the uh, yeah, I see you. The clockwork droids. <laughs> the clockwork droids in um, the Madame de Pompadour story. Yeah. They talk, don't they? Do they talk. I can't remember them talking. But they tick. They tick. Yeah, they do tick. <laughs> but the half-faced man can talk. Yeah. So surely he's got some cognitive mental ability, which makes me think that part of his brain is clockwork. And the other half he might have harvested from a human, okay. which is why he's able to empathise and think, and because he's replacing more of his body with okay. a human. That's that's my yeah. Well, I, I can buy that. I have managed to convince him of something for now uh, until he watches it again and goes, uh, yeah. actually no, hang on a minute, that's yeah. bullshit. Um, I'm gonna find the box set now and go and watch it. Okay, right. So this is the, this is the big talking. Ah, uh, Derek, you bastard. This is the big. <laughs> this is the big talking point. Yep. Missy is the master. And I phoned him up after the episode aired. That's on, your that's on my YouTube it? channel as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I reacted live to kind of Missy's rap. I was slightly inebriated, but it was, yeah. <laughs> you were sat on the toilet. I, I was sat on the toilet. Yeah. I was sat on the toilet when it happened, but I had the door open, so oh, I can still see it. That is the funniest thing. I wasn't having a poo. It was all right. I was only, you know, it was all right. <laughs> that's not too bad. Thank God for that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see me having a piss in the video if that's what you're scared about. If you want to see what he's laughing uh, about, check the link in the description I, below. It just makes it even funnier because your girlfriend sat there. Yeah, I know. Well. I, I, it's I, like I, the most ridiculous thing. I did watch it and I, I, I did laugh when she says, um, I couldn't keep calling myself the master, could I? And I'm sat, you can hear me sat on the toilet going, ah, I knew it, I knew it. And the doors are open. And, oh. Anyway, yeah. Go, right. So, oh, yeah, the Missy Master. Besides my bowel movements, let's discuss um, my ability to hold it in. Let's discuss Missy Master. Uh, Matt, take it away. You know what I'm going to say. What? I am not happy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not happy with the Master being a woman. And before anyone turns around and says, oh, you're sexist, homophobic, transphobic, any phobic, fuck off. You're talking bollocks. It's no, got nothing to do with that, sorry. <laughs> the language, sorry about that, you might have bleeped these words. No, out. the language <laughs> has been pretty blue throughout most of these videos, yeah, so yeah. I think it's alright. Uh, you no, know, that's nonsense, and that has absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, it's this. It would be the same if the Doctor became a woman. I mean, I, I know you, uh, well, did you, no, actually, I don't know if you... No, I'm not that fond of it. What, the Doctor being a woman? No. No, exactly. No. But I'm okay with the master being a woman. <laughs> I'm alright, it's fine, it's okay, I'm alright with it. There's, um, there's something about the character of the master that to me, I feel okay with it. Okay. I, I feel like, I mean, everybody knows that women are arch manipulators, so it kind of makes sense <laughs> that I'm, I'm joking. I, I'll cut that bit out. I think, for me, it makes sense that the master is a woman. I don't know why, but for me, that feels, it feels right. It feels right that the master could at some point be a woman. I don't. I don't know why I don't feel like the Doctor could be a woman, but I felt okay with it. I think maybe that was down to Michelle Gomez being so good. I think the trouble was. All right. I, I mean, I. They could have written her. I mean, they could have written her superbly. Yeah. You know, they could have written her like Delgado, mm. and I mean, I still wouldn't have been happy with the fact that she was a woman. Yeah. You know, because just that for me, the master's a man. For me, I mean, I just think time lords, time ladies, eh? Time lords and time ladies. Yeah, time lords and time ladies. You know, yeah. that's it. It seems to make more sense mm -hmm. that you would stay your own gender, yes. but you could regenerate your face. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone's gonna argue and say, well, why not? Yeah. Well, just you know, yeah. if. if it had never been suggested before. I think everyone who had been writing uh, for the old series, that I don't think any of them ever thought, I wonder if. Yeah. I think they just sort of 
You know, the, 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 it had been mentioned uh, a few seasons before now. Yeah, they, yeah. they mentioned that there was a bloke who uh, regenerated so, into it? a woman. But when that was when they when they explained that, that was almost like it was an anomaly. Like, did you hear about that? That happened. It's like, oh, yeah. wow, that's okay. Bit that's, weird. That's, that's a surprise because it's a it's a time lord to regenerate into yeah. a time lady. Um, but now, that's it. Firmly established. Yeah. We can have you know time lords regenerate themselves into time ladies. Does yeah. that differentiate as a species now? Are they still Time Lords, but they are female? Or whenever they regenerate into a Time Lord, they're male? I mean, I always, I always, the way I've always looked at the, I mean, we're going off track a bit here, but mm. the way I've always seen the Time Lord, I've always seen the Time time Lord mm. isn't the species. Yeah. The species is Gallifreyan, Gallifreyan. and Time Lord is the title that you yes. get if you... Are male or female. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, well, it's if you graduate at the Academy. At the Academy, yeah. Um, so that's why the, the Outsiders... Yeah. They're just gala friends, and yeah. not time lords, because he says, "Oh, we've renounced our time lord status." So mm -hmm. I think he was a time lord, and then he thought, "Well, well there's not going out into the wilderness yeah. and gonna eat whatever we eat. space we all yeah, out in the desert." Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> that's that's what I've always yeah. thought. So I don't yeah I, yeah. How does that work? And I said uh, I don't know if I said this to you or who I said it to. I was like. Mother's Day and Father's Day mm. on Gallifrey must be a nightmare. Ma yeah. Oh, ma or, ma da oh yeah. well, I don't know what you are. Ulysses and uh, what's the name of his mum? Oh, she was half human. Anne. Ulysses and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going down there. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Calm down, Matt. <laughs> Ulysses, fuck it. Um, Typical American bloody rubbish. That's the master Missy thing dealt with. Well, no, we haven't dealt with it because the thing that I have didn't we not? Like, no, we haven't. We haven't. <laughs> the thing that I didn't like that we need to do, we need to address <laughs> this. Look how animated he is compared to me. I'm just I'm cool. I'm saying I'm cool. I'm just, he's ranting and raving. We need to address like this because you didn't like this either. What? The way it's, oh he's my boyfriend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. What the sh what the sh what what. All right, all right, <laughs> okay. Uh, I know this is. I know, right? So I, I, I'm. The, I get pissed off with the Tumblr crowd and the whole fem slash alt, alt. Yeah. All these different abbreviations of Shit. nonsense and stuff. I, I mean, it has its place, but for the love of God, keep it out of the show. Yes. Um. That's 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 my stance on it. Um. I know. I know a lot of people out there who do kind of watch it and or read it I should say and I don't know some people might know watching now might write it and stuff first of all c clean your mouth out with soap it felt like you know how I think you might have said this as well yeah with Sherlock season three mm -hmm. felt it was very aimed at the Tumblr crowd yes it felt like it was written for the Tumblr crowd I think yeah, yeah. I think it was it was like he did it again but with Doctor Who uh, and it's like oh well we can't have John Sim and David Tennant tonguing each other but we'll <laughs> just get we'll just get um, right, okay. we'll just get Michelle Gomez to kiss the Doctor okay and then I saw people from Facebook and things turning yeah. around and saying well it's always been obvious that they were that they were in love yeah. what yeah. Roger Delga and I saw people I saw people turn around and say well She's very much like Roger Delgado. Oh yeah, because I remember the time when Roger Delgado had a sword fight with John Pertwee, then pushed him onto a chair and said, "You know what, Doctor? I bloody her love up. you." Yeah. Um, Here's some tongue tennis. Here's yeah. some whatever. Um, and they're brothers as well. And they're brothers. It's or, incest. Or are they sisters? Yeah, yeah. Brother or sister? Which oh, one is it? Yeah, but we could have had Charles dance. Oh uh, yeah. Now that would have been amazing. No been one can good. say that that would not have been better. I thought Chris Addison was going to be the master. Yeah, that would have been all right. That'd I mean, I would. He's not my choice for the master. But anything been, would have been better. It would have been. Um, it would have been like kind of the Queen Simmy kind of thing, kind of yeah. mad. Oh, and we need uh, to do that squee bit. That was on par with that fucking sound effect in, yeah. in Deep Breath. I just went. Oh. I just like why, and that doesn't make sense. If I know, I guess it does because she just uploaded her head into her mind. It's like an, it's like yeah, don't ignore that. that. That line is a bit like an old man saying like, "What do the kids like these days? Ro uh, lol, ruffle, <laughs> yeah. LMAO, squee." Let's put that in. Just carrying on from the missy thing into this part. Okay. Oh, I've got another uh, bone, to, uh, a bit of contention to I want to discuss as well. After okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> she was much better in the second part yes. because all that stuff about oh I'm in love with the doctor and he's mm. my boyfriend mm. and ooh and she's but, Spanish yeah <laughs> um, all that that was gone For, yeah it was wasn't it I don't think they were um, did they ever because she, she only referred to him as his friend she was friend. a bit more of a man 
yeah, it was still kind of there, underlying in her lines, but she didn't actually say. No. You know, she's. Uh, yeah. That wasn't mentioned. No. So yeah. it was like, yeah. So it. I think. I think. He, I can. I can. I can get the he's my boyfriend thing because that's just there to piss him off. That's just there to, for him to go. Oh, shut up! You're so annoying. That's, yeah. That, you're not. You're, you're, you're mad. You're insane. Yeah. I didn't think it was she meant it to be like. No. That. I think. I think the she reason she kissed him was like, ha. Huh, I got you there. That's that was that was weird, wasn't it? I'm I'm mad. I'm off the wall. I know you wouldn't like that, so I did it because I knew you'd hate that kind of thing. She did it to to make him angry because he wouldn't he wouldn't have liked that if it was Roger Delgado with his beard yeah. getting all itchy in that. Yeah, I was gonna say getting um, a bit itchy. Yeah. Uh, I still think dressing up as Khalid made more sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Khalid. Oh, that'd have been great. I'd, I loved his. Who, who is the arch manipulator behind this? And then turn around, the doors open. He's there. I'm a shan <laughs> That'd have been great. The trouble with part two was it was like, oh, part one is great. It's full of loads of stuff. How do we resolve all this now? Uh, so the, there's like the rain. How does that permeate through the soil and then into the. Coffins. How does it actually turn them into cyber? Yeah, how does it turn the flesh into steel mm. and give them guns and armor yeah. and rocket boosters and stuff? I mean, you could um, say it was like nanotechnology. I'd like to think that some of them yeah. were already buried as Cybermen. As Cybermen, yeah. as opposed to... I mean, maybe maybe they were just partly converted mm. and they just needed the trigger... They were like sleeper agents. Yeah. And they just needed the trigger the of, of the rain to wake yeah. them up. That's that. Maybe that's an explanation. But on the Don't subject... Don't forget to water your Cybermen. Though, yeah, <laughs> otherwise they will die and wither. Uh, let's talk about uh, the other big uh, Matthew Toflo rantable topic. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, which is um, Cyber Break, which I uh, cried at. You cried? Yeah, oh, you baby. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I liked it, but I did cry. I did cry. See, what happened is, I had a similar thing, like, because I sort of went, when I was watching, I was like, oh, he saved his daughter. Yeah. And then I went, Wait a minute. He's a su- what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it's a bit of a sad ending for the brig. I, yeah, I, I, just think, like, I felt like what? He became the thing that he was like trying to destroy. I think, I, but I think that's quite that's quite a poetic thing. I mean, like when you when you look at like when you go on the Wikia page and it's like his life was like growing up in whatever the brigadier went to this school and then met Doris at the end. Then he was a cyberman. <laughs> And it's a bit, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit of a jump, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah. Well, really, why did he not die? When all the, because by that point, all the Cybermen had flown off into the air. Mm -hmm. Danny Pink had given that really trite, crappy speech about, mm. oh, yes, we are the soldiers. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shut up and just kill yourselves already, for <laughs> God's sake. Um, and then the Brigadier turned up. I was like, why did you not fly off and die? Yeah. Is it just because he sh you just really wanted him to take off his face yeah. and show a decomposed... Oh, they can't really say a decomposed no. Miss Connolly because the poor man's dead. And just, maybe, like, maybe they could have like borrowed a moustache on the side of the man's head. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it was like, Ooh, it's what? the Brig. I, what I really wanted... He should have had a swagger stick yeah. with a laser gun in it. What I wanted, I wanted him to turn up with Jenkins mm. as a Cyberman from yeah. the Demons, yeah. and then when uh, Missy got shot, yeah. I wanted him to turn around and go, chap with the tits there. <laughs> I'm very crappy. Very good, very <laughs> droll. If we had, t if we were able to make T-shirts, we'll have to put that, <laughs> put that on a T-shirt. That's very, very yeah. good. <laughs> Um, I'm here all week. I think the unit, the whole unit family, should have turned up as yeah, Cybermen. as Cybermen. Well, yeah. I think that's what get, what happens next. I think he tracks down Benton, Yates, yeah. Joe, yeah. Um, Colonel Wasser Chops. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, just think yeah. of all the companions that have died. Yeah, like Adric. Adric became a Cyberman. Yeah, because he's buried somewhere in the earth in a million different pieces, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So he came back together. Yeah, yeah. For, but, formed, yeah. fused himself together, and then became he became the thing that he you know, set out to destroy. It's mm. quite quite nice, actually. So long as the Doctor doesn't become a woman. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. You, you know it's going to happen eventually, Matt. No, don't! Oh, Christ almighty. I'm running away. Sort the title sequence out. Oh, yeah. Because we were saying, sick of that. Sick of the... I'll, I'll insert a little picture here of the title coming out of Mummy on the Orient Express because I saved it on my computer because I was like, I'll need that again one day because I'll need to vent myself for frustration about it. Um, like... Even in uh, Last Christmas, title sequence out of sync with the credits, with, with the music, really irritates me. I don't know why that bug, that bug, that bug me more than Missy. That bug me more really? than the, the ankle. So it, I hadn't really noticed it. Yeah, honestly, if you go back, it's going to be really noticeable now. I had noticed it on some 
Russell T Davies stories. I've never then, noticed it. I'm in sure there's. I'm sure there's one because you know in the TARDIS it stops us. And it the goes through the two vortexes. There's like yeah. a little bit of a noise. It's like a yeah. yeah. And sometimes it doesn't happen when mm. it's meant to. And yeah. I go, Ooh. But that, that that's 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 not as bad as. And we'll go on to last Christmas. This is our introduction to last Christmas okay. now. Um, Peter Capaldi, Jenna Coleman, Doctor Who, Nick Frost. Last <laughs> yeah. Christmas. What? When? Why did that happen? I actually, when it happened, I went. Well, I didn't yeah. say, "Oh, why is his name coming up yeah. in the come up after Doctor Who?" Yeah. My thing was, "What's his name doing yeah. in the title sequence? Yeah. Who's he?" Yeah. Well, I know he is, but yeah. you know, he shouldn't be there. Well, I didn't. I, I, and he wasn't really in it that. Much. Uh, he wasn't in it that much. Yeah, that, that's the main. I, 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 you know, Nick Frost. He's 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 known around the world, really. Not as not as well in a sun peg, obviously. No. And he's always going to kind of be in his shadow, which is a yeah. shame because he's a great actor and comedian in his own right. Yes. But um, yeah, he wasn't in it enough to justify having a credit no. in the title sequence, and it was yeah. Because in that case, me. you might as well say, well, Michelle Gomez should have had a credit in. She was, she was, yeah, she was good enough in it. I think. Yeah, exactly. She should have, she's she in it far more than he was. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay, so last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away and gave me this pile of all rightness instead. Um, it was um, it was all right. It was the best it was Christmas okay. special I can't, I can't for a very long time. I, I mean, I do remember what happened, but I, 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 I drank a bit. Yeah. I mean, I didn't drink a lot. I didn't drink, I didn't drink a lot. I, I didn't, didn't drink, drink a lot. He's, he's drunk, drunk now. No. <laughs> I didn't drink a lot, but yeah. I... Yeah, he I, did drink a lot. Oh, yeah. And I just, I, I was sort of falling asleep before the episode started, mm-hmm. and my brother did t- did do this and go, this is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. During an emotional moment, mm. and I thought um, that's quite funny. I, I, I don't feel like I can really say much about it other than I, I, it's the best, it's best Christmas special, in my mind since um, the Christmas Invasion. Okay. I didn't really like. Many of the other ones. I think you said since Voyage of the Damned. Even Voyage, yeah, I Voyage of the I Damned rethought was right. that. Yeah, Voyage of the Damned is okay, but I don't think it's as good as as Last Christmas or the Christmas Invasion. Um, I prefer okay. Last Christmas. I thought Last Christmas was more clever and intelligent than Voyage of the Damned, and Kylie Minogue. Well, yeah, has to lose points and for, Max Capricorn for that. Oh, Max! I thought it was Davros when he first wheeled himself out. I <laughs> Davros had a redesign. And he's got gold teeth in that. That's weird. <laughs> um, uh, he's, he's blown up he's, in the last he's story. Bling. He's, he's, he's all Jason. bling. He's come back. Um, yeah, uh, I yeah. Last Christmas was all right. It was um, uh, again. I don't feel like they've really learned their lesson about lying to each other, or at least Clara hasn't. No, because the Doctor's got off scot free as far as I'm concerned. He can lie as much as he wants. <laughs> scot free. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, um, are you part of the Doctor Who consumer panel? Did, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get the, the emails they send? They send um, s- oh, yeah, surveys out. They sent one about Christmas. I haven't, I haven't done this one yet. Um, so, the, how many people are on it? Do you think? I like to think there's only like a select number of us that are on the panel. <laughs> um, but there's, there's there's a load of people across the world that are sent surveys by BBC, and we have so to they sh- can ascertain how shit. They're yeah, doing. yeah. <laughs> and I'm always really honest about it. Yeah, and, and me. And I was like, all oh, right, there's rubbish or whatever. Um, did you see? Um, on the credits for Last Christmas, uh, or, or, or you, you wouldn't have seen it yet. Um, uh, for some reason, um, Kate Stewart is listed on there, and it said, "What do, out of ten, what would you, how would you rate Kate Stewart in this story?" I was like, "She's not in it." <coughs> and also, did you do you remember a character called the Wolf? What? <laughs> wolf, the Wolf. <laughs> no, there was no character called the Wolf. But but I looked on I looked on Wikipedia. And there's a character called Wolf, played by the the actor. I don't. Is that the other elf? Oh, maybe. Wolf and Ian. They're, that to me that they don't sound like elf names to no. me. No. That... I tell you what, Dan Starkey in that episode. Yeah. But, oh, I wanted to punch him in his little head. Yeah. He just irritated me yeah. so much. I was like, "You are more irritating as an elf than you are, than you are a Strax. Strax. and that That's is saying, saying a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah." I was just like, "You were just really fucking irritating." I mean, I don't mm. like him. I don't like the man. Ever since I said hello to him at the train station, and he was just like, uh, "Yeah, yeah," I was like, "Fuck off, you little git." Really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Who are you?" What a knob. Yeah. I was like, "You're a fucking potato man." You're not. I, I, I'd allow Tom Baker to speak to me like yeah, that. Yeah. Tom Baker. Dan Starkey. No, exactly. Yeah. I felt like turning around to him and saying, "Yeah, well, screw you." Yeah. Um, he is small. Is he? He is. Tiny. You could have. He's like him. running. I could have pushed him off you the could have tracks. Him off train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that a track. child has fallen. Off the <laughs> yeah. And Shauna, I mentioned as well on Facebook that from I from Corrie from is she Corrie? She was in Corrie. Oh right. Yeah. Um, uh, I would love to have seen her go off mm. with Capaldi at the end. If they could have wrapped up 
Clara's story well enough. Yeah. Uh, for as someone who's a massive fan of her, I think that I'd like to have seen Shauna travel with yeah. Capaldi. Who knows? I think maybe it'll happen. Maybe that would have been a nice. I mean, I rated her very highly on the yeah. um, on the survey, hoping yeah. that they'd see that people actually yeah. really liked her and go, oh. I'd much rather her than that irritating blonde girl mm -hmm. who was like thick as yeah two short planks and was just like. Oh no! Hang on. Oh wait! I want I wanted her to join. Oh, the, the, the one who was like, let's swap numbers. Because I thought there could be a bit of like of an ace kind of like, you know how ace is like a mod, ace is like, she's like a modern day equivalent of ace working in a, I, I, it would have been like my fair lady. That kind of, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> just been a, I thought you meant like the main lady. No. With the dark hair. No. The mixed race girl. No, no, the No, no. she's the one who's in Coronation Street. Right. No, the, the blonde the blonde one. Shauna. I'd like I, I I am I the only one who thinks that might have worked? I think so. I think everyone else wanted the other girl. I, I know, but that that's what I like, that the dynamic like oh he's gonna But pick, she was so irritating. He's gonna pick the she one She was like worse than Donna or He's gonna pick Amy. the one that's competent. Oh no he isn't. He's gonna pick the one that they, Who's retarded? Yeah. <laughs> so he could like educate her. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, I, I, I liked her. Wow. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, really, I, you hadn't drunk enough on Christmas, or, you, or maybe not. you drank too much. I might have drank too much. I might have had some other things as well. Anyway, Merry I think Christmas, that's it. everyone. Merry Christmas. Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. Don't know what we're gonna do next time. Um, but, um, probably answer your. Answer questions. your questions next. Yeah, you've got yeah. sent some questions on Facebook, so uh, we'll do them next. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, and uh, sorry it's been so long and mad. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> very, very long <laughs> video. <laughs> Two hours. Excellent. Um, yes, uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Laters. Because it, it, it. Ooh, what's that? Oh, the dragon. Oh, that might be mum and dad not being able to let themselves in. Okay. The